Hi, my name is Tracy Batiste. I am a children's book author. I also teach at Leslie University in their low residency creative writing program. And I am the owner of Fairy God Author, which is an editorial company that helps authors with their writing. And welcome to episode three of Creativity Under Pressure. And so today we're going to be talking about comparison. One of the things that I've been noticing among my writer friends lately is that they're concerned about what they are doing as compared to what other people are doing. Look at how many people are doing read alouds. Look at how many people are making materials available on their websites. Look at how many people are doing um, lesson plans and, and so on. And I should be doing X or I should be doing Y. And the word should is absolutely a thing that will kill your creativity. And I completely understand looking at what other people are doing and comparing yourself to it. Uh, I was raised in a culture where I was bred to compete. Every marking period, I got a report card that ranked me with all of the kids in my class. And at 11 years old, all of the kids in the country um, take an exam and the results are printed in the national newspaper. So you find out your results when your dad drives down to the um, newsstand and picks up the newspaper with everybody else's parents and comes home and looks for your name that's printed in the newspaper with your score and what school you got into for high school. So I completely understand what it means to feel competitive and feel like you need to compare yourself with other people but it is the surest way to prevent yourself from being creative for you because that's why you're being creative it's because it's a, a thing that you have to do it comes from inside you it's not it has nothing to do with with anybody else and so the thing that i do anytime this happens to me which is often is i focus on the things that i have done that i've done well even if it's really tiny things because as we all know those tiny things really do add up and so this morning the things that i am celebrating as stuff that i was able to do is one i was able to hand in a revision for a picture book which was kicking my butt um, my editor asked me for some different ideas and i absolutely could think of nothing but I waited a few days and then it came to me this morning so I was able to send that off and I was thrilled and I also was able to send in um, some criti critical comments to one of my students on her creative piece and that was also something that was kind of stymieing me sometimes it's really hard for me to come up with the right way to give criticism or direction or um, telling a student how to move forward and so I was able to do that this morning and I'm completely thrilled that I was able to do those two things so um, if you are so inclined in the comments it would be great if you could also share the things that you've done that are really great um, even if it's just tiny small accomplishments things that you can focus on as things that you are doing and that you are doing well that removes all the noise about what other people are doing. Thanks for watching and you can find out about me and my books and about consulting and Leslie University all on my website www.tracybatiste.com.